businesses generate a large amount of data. Customer feedback, sales performance, and stock price all have an impact on how a company operates. However, understanding the stories that the data tells isn't always simple or intuitive, which is why many businesses rely on data engineering. According to the recently released DICE 2020 Tech Job Report, data engineer was the fastest growing tech occupation in 2019 with a 50% increase in job opening positions year over year. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by Intellipad. So let's talk about data engineering. The process of designing and building systems that allow people to collect and analyze raw data from various sources and formats is known as data engineering. These systems enable people to discover practical applications for data that businesses can use to thrive. Data engineers are responsible for designing, developing and maintaining the data platform which includes the data infrastructure, data application, data warehouse and data pipelines. Keeping that in mind, we have curated a list of interview questions for those finding their way in the career of data engineering, be it a beginner or a professional. So stay till the end to get a clear understanding of the type of questions that are asked in interviews for different levels of expertise. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any updates from us. So let us begin with data engineer beginner interview questions. First, what is data engineering? When working with data, the term data engineering is used. Data engineering is the primary process of converting a raw entity of data into useful information that can be used for a variety of purposes. This entails the data engineer working with data by performing data collection and research. Second question, define data modeling. Data modeling is the process of simplifying complex software designs by breaking them down into simple diagrams that are easy to understand and it has no prerequisites. There is a simple visual representation between the data objects involved and the rules associated with them, which provides numerous benefits. Third question, what are the features of Hadoop? It is free and simple to use. Second, Hadoop is highly scalable. A large amount of data is distributed across several devices in a cluster and processed in parallel. The number of these devices or nodes can be increased or decreased based on the needs of the R. Third, data in a Hadoop cluster is replicated across multiple data nodes ensuring data availability even if one of your system fails. Fourth, Hadoop is designed to handle any type of data set including structured, semi-structured and unstructured data. This means it can analyze any type of data in any format making it extremely versatile. Finally, Hadoop allows for faster data processing. Fourth question, what are the four V's of big data? The following forms are considered to be the essential foundation of big data. First, volume, then variety, velocity, and veracity. Fifth question, briefly describe the star schema. A star schema in a data warehouse can have one fact table and a number of associated dimension tables in the center. It is known as a star schema because its structure is similar to that of a star. The star schema data model is the most basic type of data warehouse schema. It is also referred to as the star join schema and is intended for large data sets. Sixth question, briefly describe the snowflake schema. A snowflake schema is a logical arrangement of tables in a multidimensional database that corresponds to the shape of a snowflake. A snowflake schema is a star schema that has been enlarged with additional dimensions. The data is separated into new tables after the dimension tables have been normalized. Snowflaking has the potential to improve query performance in some cases. The schema is structured in such a way that each fact is surrounded by its related dimensions which are linked to the other dimensions forming a snowflake pattern. Seventh question, what is meant by COSH? The acronym COSH stands for classification and optimization based scheduling for heterogeneous Hadoop systems. It provides scheduling at both the cluster and application levels as the name implies to have a direct positive impact on the job completion time. Next question, name the XML configuration files present in Hadoop. XML configuration files available in Hadoop are core site, MapRed site, YARN site, and HDFS site. Ninth question, what is the difference between Spark and MapReduce? 
Spark is a MapReduce enhancement for Hadoop. The distinction between Spark and MapReduce is that Spark processes and stores data in memory for subsequent steps, whereas MapReduce processes data on disk. As a result, for smaller workloads, Spark's data processing speed is up to 100 times faster than MapReduce's. In addition, unlike MapReduce's two-stage execution procedure, Spark creates a direct acyclic graph to schedule tasks and orchestrate nodes across the Hadoop cluster. Tenth question, what is the replication factor? The replication factor is the number of times each data block is replicated by the Hadoop framework. The replication of the block provides fault tolerance. The replication factor is set to 3 by default, but it can be reduced to 2 or increased to meet your requirements. Let us move on to data engineer intermediate interview questions. First, how is data security ensured in Hadoop? Some of the steps involved in securing data in Hadoop are as follows. To begin, you must secure the authentic channel that connects clients to the server. Second, the clients use the received stamp to request a service ticket. Finally, the service ticket is used by the clients to authenticate their connection to the corresponding server. Second question, in your opinion, what does a data engineer majorly do? A data engineer is in charge of a variety of tasks. Some of the most important are as follows. Handling data inflow and pipeline processing. Second, maintaining data staging areas and being in charge of ETL data transformation activities. Third, performing data cleaning and redundancy removal. And finally, developing ad hoc query construction operations and native data extraction methods. Third question, what is the data stored in the name node? Name node stores metadata about all the files in the cluster, such as the location of the block stored, the size of the files, permissions, hierarchy, and so on. The metadata associated with two files is FS image. It stores the entire state of the file system namespace since name node's inception. Second, edit logs. It contains all of the most recent changes made to the file system in relation to the most recent FS image. Fourth question, what is the use of Hive in the Hadoop ecosystem? Hive is used to provide a user interface for managing all of Hadoop's stored data. The data is mapped using HBase tables and worked on as needed. Hive queries are run to generate MapReduce jobs. This is done to keep the complexity under control when running multiple jobs at the same time. Next question, what are the table creation functions in Hive? The following are some of Hive's table creation functions. First, explode array, explode map, third is JSON tuple, and finally, stack. Sixth question, have you ever transformed unstructured data into structured data? So this is an important question because your response can demonstrate your understanding of both data types and practical work experience. You can answer this question by making a brief distinction between two categories. For proper data analysis, unstructured data must be transformed into structured data and the methods for transformation can be discussed. You must describe a real-world situation in which you transformed unstructured data into structured data. And if you are a recent graduate with no professional experience, Discuss information about your academic projects. Seventh question, how would you validate a data migration from one database to another? Data engineers' top priority should be data validity and ensuring that no data is dropped. Hiring managers, ask this question to understand your thought process regarding data validation. You should be able to discuss appropriate validation types in various scenarios. For example, you could propose a validation that is as simple as a comparison or that it occurs after the entire data migration. Eighth question, what happens when block scanner detects a corrupted data block? It is one of the most popular and common data engineer interview questions and you should respond to it by listing all the steps taken by a block scanner when it discovers a corrupted block of data. First, data node informs name node of the corrupted block and then Name node creates a replica based on an existing model. If the corrupted data block is not deleted by the system, name node creates replicas based on the replication factor. Ninth question, how can data analytics 
help the business grow and boost revenue. It all comes down to business growth and revenue generation in the end. And big data analysis has become critical for businesses. All businesses want to hire candidates who understand how to help their company grow, achieve their objects, and result in a higher ROI. You can respond to this question by demonstrating the benefits of data analytics in increasing revenue, improving customer satisfaction, and increasing profit. Data analytics aids in the development of realistic goals and decision making. Businesses that implement big data analytics may see a 5 to 20% increase in revenue. Walmart, Facebook, and LinkedIn are some of the companies using big data analytics to boost their income. Tenth question Which are the default port numbers for Port Tracker, Task Tracker, and Name Note in Hadoop? Job Tracker has the default port 50030, Task Tracker has the default port 50060. A name node has the default port 50070. And now we look at data engineer advanced interview questions. First, what is the meaning of skewed tables in Hive? So skewed tables are tables in which values appear repeatedly. The more they repeat, the more skewness there is. A table can be classified as skewed while being created in Hive. By doing so, the values will be written to different files first and the remaining values will be written to a separate file later. Second question, what was the algorithm you used in a recent project? First, decide which project you want to discuss. Use a real world example in your field of expertise and an algorithm relevant to the company's work to pique the hiring manager's interest. Keep track of all the models and analysis you have used. Avoid overcomplicating things by starting with simple models. The hiring managers want you to explain the results and their significance. Third question, what tools did you use in your recent projects? Interviewers want to assess your decision making skills as well as your knowledge of various tools. As a result, choose this question to explain why you chose specific tools over others. Explain to the interviewer what tools you used and why you used them. You can also discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the tool you used. Also. Try to use this opportunity to tell the interviewer how you plan to use the tool to benefit the company. Next question, how can you deploy a big data solution? The recruiter is interested in knowing the steps you would take to deploy a big data solution when asking this question. You should respond by emphasizing the three important steps which are data integration or ingestion. In this step, data is extracted from data sources such as RDBMS, Salesforce, SAP, and MySQL. Second, the extracted data would be saved in an HDFS or NoSQL database. The final step should be to deploy the solution using processing frameworks such as MapReduce, PIG, and Spark. Fifth question, what is CERD in the hive? So CERD is an abbreviation for serializer or deserializer. Hive uses the CERT protocol for I.O. The interface handles serialization and deserialization and interprets the serialization results as separate fields for processing. The deserializer converts a record into a Java object that is Hive compatible. This Java object is now serialized in an HDFS compatible format by the serializer. HDFS then takes over the storage role. Anyone can make their own CERT for any data format. Sixth question, what is the role of the .hiveRC file in Hive? The .hiveRC file's function is initialization. When you want to write code for Hive, you should open the CLI, that is the command line interface, and this file is the first one that is loaded. It contains the initial parameters that you set. Seventh question, have you ever worked with big data in a cloud computing environment? Because most businesses are now shifting to cloud-based environments, this question informs the interviewer of your readiness to work in a cloud-based environment. You should demonstrate your readiness and familiarity with the cloud-based environment as well as the benefits of cloud computing such as its scalability and flexibility, mobility and security, and access to data from any location without risk. Next question. Do you have any experience working in the same industry as ours before? This is a frequently asked question 
and it is inquired as to whether you have previous exposure to the environment and the work in the same make sure you elaborate on your experience including the tools you used and the techniques you used this ensures that the interviewer receives a complete picture ninth question explain how data analytics and big data can increase company revenue the following are some examples of how data analytics and big data can boost company revenue first utilize data effectively to ensure business growth increase customer value using analytics to improve forecasted staffing levels and finally organizational production costs are being reduced last question do you have prior experience working with data modeling start your response with a simple yes or no it's fine if you have never worked with data modeling before but make sure to explain what you know in a concise and structured manner it would be beneficial if you had previously used tools such as pentaho or informatica for this purpose and that brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching just a quick info guys if you want to make a career in data engineering then intellipad provides an advanced certification in data engineering associated with mit this course is designed to upskill and land your dream job